Hey, what's going on, brother? Um, you know, I'm no longer walking with Jesus. Like, I'm not a Christian, but I feel like I'm still being guided into all truth. So it's funny that you use that, that you would say that verse. The Bible says, we need no man teach us in 1 John chapter 2, I think verse 27 or 28, it say, you need no man teach you. The Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. And so if the Holy Spirit is supposed to guide Christians into all truth, is it all truth pertaining to the truth that's in the that's contained in the Bible in the 66 books? Or is it saying, is it all truth that exists in the world? Because if, if, if the Bible is saying that the, the, the Holy Spirit will guide the Christians into all truth and is guiding Christians into all different types of confusion, it's not guiding Christians into all truth. And if that only truth is contained in the 66 books, then that can't be true because we know that it's truth much truth outside the Bible that the Bible that actually predates the Bible that the Bible actually you know took from and remixed so I mean and why we have so many teachers even in the book of James chapter 3 verse 1 it says that there should not be many teachers and so if you put that with the verse that say in 1 John 2 uh, we need no man teach us. We don't need teachers. And in the same book, in the Old Testament, I forget the verse, in the same Bible, it says that the basically our teachers are the biggest misleaders. You know, those who we put our trust in to lead us has the big, you know, those are the ones that's most susceptible to mislead us. And so all Christians being guided into all truth. And it, what truth is that? You know what I'm saying? Is it is it all truth contained in the world? Is it just the truth contained in the Bible? And if that's true, why are Christians being guided into all confusion? and chaos and nobody knows anything.